AQA Diseases, Fungal Infections and Protists by KScience.com. Malaria is a disease caused by the protist plasmodium. The main symptoms of malaria is that you have a high fever. That can be fatal. Malaria is transmitted, spread by mosquitoes. When mosquitoes ingest the blood of someone with the malaria disease, the blood inside the mosquito has the protist plasmodium in it. The mosquito is now the vector because it's carrying the disease. And when it lands on somebody else and feeds on that person, the blood is then transferred into that person, giving them the pathogen plasmodium. This person now has the disease malaria, and they too will suffer the symptoms of a fever. This fever can be fatal if not treated. The treatment for malaria is firstly going to be anti-malaria drugs, drugs that will destroy the protist plasmodium. Malaria can be prevented from spreading as well. So what you can do is destroy the breeding grounds of the mosquitoes. So what you can do is destroy the breeding grounds of the mosquitoes. Or you can use mosquito nets. Mosquito nets prevent mosquitoes from landing on you, therefore lowering the risk of transmission of malaria. The plasmodium protist is going to invade your red blood cells, and inside your red blood cells, it is going to multiply and replicate. And when there's enough plasmodium in there, it causes the red blood cells to burst. This then causes the plasmodium protist to spread around the body and infect other cells. The protists will also invade liver cells. The liver cells will then lose their function. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Rose black spot is a fungal infection of roses, and as the name suggests, there are black spots on the leaves of roses. So on the roses, there are purple or black spots caused by the fungus, as you can see here. The fungus is going to be airborne, and it is transmitted from one plant to another via water or the wind. And if the fungus comes into contact with another rose plant, that means that that rose plant is then going to be affected with the disease rose black spot. So the first identifiable symptom of rose black spot are black spots on the leaves. The leaves are then going to turn a yellowy colour. So the leaves turn yellow and they drop off and they drop off. So as you can see here, the yellow leaves infected with rose black spot have dropped off. So if there are no leaves on the plant, that means there will be no photosynthesis which means that the plant will die. So what is the treatment for rose black spot? Fungicides will be slightly ineffective, however they can kill the fungi. Now the treatment is to remove the dead or infected leaves off the plant to prevent the spread of the fungi around the plant. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.